Blitzel will be out of his meeting in like five minutes. Oh, yes, good. I'll just wait out here then. So, you're Luna, yes? Blitzo's daughter. He's talked much about you. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Another teenage daughter. Let's see. Some common ground. Oh! Do you also call Blitzy daddy? Uh, what do you mean, also? Luna, I don't know how to say this, so I'll just come out with it. We need to talk about your obsession with Moxie. Excuse me? My what? I do not have an obsession with your fat husband. Well, how else would you describe it? You're constantly touching him. You mean when I punch him? You send him non-stop text. Links to weight loss pills. You created an app of just his head being crushed. You didn't download it, you made it. You study objective C coding in your free time and build an app from scratch filled with numerous photos of my husband's face. This is ridiculous. I'm not gonna take this assault just because you're insecure. I'd say go suck a fat one, but you're married to teeny weeny Moxie. Later. Ugh, I'm home. You're not gonna believe the crap I dealt with at work today. Your dumb bitch wife thinks I'm obsessive. I can't believe you're married to her. God, I hate you so much. Oh, Mox, I've been looking forward to this all day. Me too, sugar dumpling. Er, wait just a moment. Gotta clear the area. Moxie, do you have to do this every time? I just need to be sure. Can't forget when he hid in the air vents. No sight of him outside. Not under here either. <sighs> Phew, I think we're in the clear. I swear it's like Blitzo always knows when we're about to get intimate. Don't be silly. Now get over here and rock my world, you stud. <laughs> Dear Diary, I started a diary today. It was Luna's suggestion, actually. Well, her exact words were, instead of bitching to me, why don't you cry in your diary? But fuck her! I'm starting this out of spite! Well, this morning started like any other. Not that she need to know any of those details. At work, I forgot I had to submit spreadsheets on our past assignments. So I had to make up everything last minute. Oh, I gotta have a solo mission today. We had to take down a crooked cop. Now ain't that funny. Mox was super conflicted about it, the cutie. But I don't mind. Ah, got that pig good and made him squeal real loud. Y'all should have seen me hurt when I used their intestines like reins. Some of the blood got in my mouth. I kind of liked it, actually. Maybe because I was imagining I was slicing, striking Luna and anyone that's been pissing me off lately. And here's a picture I took with my caramel frappuccino. Ain't it cute? <laughs> hey, fatty. You're good with grammar crap, right? You mind giving me your thoughts on my fanfiction? Really? I didn't know you enjoyed writing. I'd be happy to help, Luna. Sweet crumbs, there's gotta be a hundred stories here. You wrote them all? Over two hundred, actually. Hmm, uh, wait a second. Is this all slash fiction about me and Stryker? Yeah, in this one, you divorce Millie to elope with Stryker. In this one, Millie catches you sleeping with Stryker at a love hotel. Oh, in this one, Stryker ties you up to a mechanical bull while he has his way with you. Why? Why are you making me read this? You cry in every single one of them. Ugh.